Hi, in this video I would like to show you the new or one of the components of the adaptive query execution which is the shuffle partition coalesce optimization. So at the beginning I created a configuration object where I explicitly disabled the broadcast join strategy simply because the coalesce shuffle partitions applies only when we have the shuffle stages in the execution plan. And that's also the reason why I explicitly set the sort merge join to true. I also defined the configuration properties, which are the initial partition number uh, set to 100, which means that I will create 100 shuffle partitions and also 10 kilobytes as the size of the partition I would like to see after the coalescing. And I, as you can see, I have a very sample data sets having very few data just to show you that there will be plenty of empty partitions in these 100 um, shuffle partitions and that that will be coalesced into three different partitions. So let me first execute the case where this strategy will apply. So. I added some debug points in, in, the, in the code just to show you where this optimization will happen and what will happen during the coalescing. So first you can see that we are in the adaptive query execution optimization rule that will add a new node to the plan. And as you can see, we are in the coalesce shuffle partitions, but we try to apply it on a plan that is not that it doesn't uh, on the plan that doesn't contain the shuffles and that the reason why we are leaving the optimization just here now we have to, we have just entered into the optimization stage because we created the we added the query stage nodes to the plan we created the initial plan one step before and now we will materialize every stages and every time we will try to create a new potentially better plan here so so as you can see we compare the new plan but the cost doesn't change and we are materializing other stages and finally we are arriving into our coalesce shuffle partitions optimization and as you can see in the plan we have some shuffle stages i will show you that in these two exchanges and now the optimization can happen and you can also notice that the partitions are that we have our 100 partitions and that the partitions are almost all empty. So we have only three partitions which are filled with our three numbers. And now the goal will be to reduce the number of partitions into much smaller number, which is not smaller than two because it's the property I'm using here. So let's see what happens here. You can see that that's the first iteration and that at this stage we reach the point where the so far accumulated partitions in the coalesced size plus new partitions are much bigger than the target size which for our case is 180 bytes and when when it happens it means that we reached our target size and we can coalesce multiple partitions into a single coalesced partition spec including the starting index of this partition and you can see that it happened already here because we are a partition that coalesced multiple smaller partition from 0 to 73 and you will see later that we do the same for the partitions from 74 to 90 and that by the end we add another partition for the remaining part 
which takes the small partitions from 91 to 99. And so optimized partitions will be later kind of wrapped with this executor and this partition specs information we saw just before. And let me just show you the physical plan, the optimized physical plan. So just to recall this one, is th this is the plan that we had just before the optimization. And when the optimization happened, you can see that we have our custom shuffle readers on both sides that indicates uh, that the coalesce shuffle partitions optimization was applied. If you want to discover more technical details about this optimization than other optimization in the adaptive core execution, I invite you to check the link below this video. It was Bartosz Konieczny from whitemikfukrod.com. Thanks for watching.